Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1542 of our trek, and it is time for a three-minute mini trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide you with a clean and short funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and provide a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 30, A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is titled, The Smart Sisters. John and his wife Susan purchased the old family home in northern New York State from John's two elderly sisters who had lived there for the past 40 years. John and Susan moved in during July and enjoyed a wonderful summer and then the fall in the house. The leaves during the fall were beautiful, but the nights were starting to turn cold. With winter approaching, Susan expressed her concern about the house's lack of insulation. John thought about it for a moment, then confidently said, If my two older sisters, who are 10 and 12 years older than us, could live here all those years, so can we. During an early November night, the temperatures plunged below zero, and John and Susan woke up to find the interior walls covered with frost. They couldn't believe that the older sisters could stand living here for so many years with it being so cold. To solve the mystery, John decided to call his sisters to ask how they kept warm in the winter. After a relatively brief conversation, John hung up. For the past 35 years, John muttered, they spent the winters in Florida. I hope that brought a smile to your face today. If it did, pass that smile on to someone else. We could all use a kind smile each day. And our Thursday thought is, to appreciate the beauty of a snowflake, it is necessary to stand out in the cold. And here's our verse for today. James chapter 2 verses 15 through 17. Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing and say, Goodbye and have a good day. Stay warm and eat well. But then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? You see, your faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. And just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your family and friends to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek. Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,541 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.